Nice and short. Shorter. 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 Carl, hurry up! I gotta go work for Parker still. <laughs> the Nest Crew's huge 475 dozer has made it safely to Duncan Creek, accompanied by mechanic Carl Rosk and Parker's co-foreman, Brennan Ruo. We convoyed up with the trucks and uh, here we are putting together one of the world's biggest dozers. I mean, we've got six dozers on Parker's claim, but this thing will probably push them all right off the waste site, so. Whoever on Rick's crew gets to run this bad boy this year is uh, going to be having a smile on their face. With the help of Carl's friend Leah, the team have just two days to assemble the 120-ton beast before Carl must return home for surgery. We're going to get this track on here, and uh, we can get this thing off box and start assembling the rest of the machine, right? The first job, attach the 36-foot tracks. Oh, dude, that's scary. Go let her buck at this point. You're good. Oh, let her down. She good. Yeah. You obviously don't have the hugest window here. I only got a couple days to get this thing assembled before I have to get home. So um, I got a lot of stuff on my plate, and this is a. Uh, this is huge because if I don't get this done, the boys can't come stripping if I'm not here, right? So uh, it's kind of a make or break it for myself. Hopefully this thing's what we need this season to hit some serious numbers. With the five and a half ton track in place, the final link must be bolted into position. I'm gonna try my bolt, so you wanna grab the pad. Why do you always give the guy's bad back to heavy lifting? Since when did your back get bad? for like 25 years, man. For what, sit on the couch? Yeah! <laughs> oh. It's good for the back, always use your lower back. Yeah, I never need. Just remember this thing can fall. Never legs. So nice and gentle. Down a little bit. Get that in there. Well, that's the first major job down, getting both those tracks wrapped around. So super happy. It's a good feeling, right? As far as I'm concerned, we took too long, but you know, I don't work on these things every day, so. Hey, Carl, I got a problem over here, buddy. I can't get that grease gun on the nipple in there. In Duncan Creek, Carl Rosk and Brennan Ruo are halfway through their two-day dozer build. Uh-oh. This ain't good, my cannon's twisted. Each of the 475's massive tracks has a hydraulic system called a cannon that contains a spring and grease to keep the tracks at an optimum tension. But one of these cannons has rotated out of place, preventing grease from being added. Without this grease, the hydraulic system is stuck. The tracks risk being too loose and slipping off. To fix the issue, Carl needs to open up the dozer's undercarriage. It's a shot in the dark. I really don't want to split this track and pull the whole idler assembly out, but we're a time crunch right now. I, I really can't afford to do this, but here we are. We're doing it, right? So it's tough. Yeah. Uh, grab the big old boy here. She's rusted on there. Just settle down. <laughs> Had to come in and save the scene. Then Carl removes the guide plates that hold the cannon in place. Heavy. You're like the toll bridge troll right now. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's the end of our cannon. It's twisted on the back of my tensioner, right? So I'm going to try to spin it inside, put our guides back in, and you know, hopefully that works. Carl plans to use brute force to rotate the cannon back into the correct position, allowing him to get grease into the hydraulic system and set the tension of the tracks. Nothing, though, eh? Here, I'm gonna try just out a hit. Here we go. Oh, we got issues, buddy. We got issues. That's not good. I don't know what we're gonna do here, man. Split the track, pull the cannon, that's all we can do, man. I don't wanna do it, but 
we were going to have to. Like. With the cannon refusing to move, Carl's only option is to separate the track and take apart the 475's undercarriage, a process that will take a full day, time Carl and Brennan don't have. We're under, obviously, a big time crunch, and uh, we need to have this done before I leave, right? Before I have surgery. 100% something we don't need. OK, so here, 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 OK. So you see this tab there? We pull this out a bit, and it will spin up into there. We don't got to pull it right out. We just got to pull it a bit, and we'll spin it. In a Hail Mary move to spin the cannon, Carl will attach the excavator to the undercarriage and use its power to pull and extend it out, leaving more room to rotate the cannon into place and allow access to the grease valve. Sometimes it's best just to take it right apart. Sometimes you can cheat it, right? I'm hoping we can cheat it. OK, buddy. Nice and easy. Yeah, OK, OK, we're good. It's a risky move. Pull too hard, and the chains will break, damaging the dozer and the excavator. Ready? Yeah, just a little bit, buddy. Just watch yourself. A little more. How's it move? You got to keep going. I'm just hiding, OK? Go a little more. Watch it. Whoa. How's that look? Awesome. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. I just really didn't want to take this all apart. This is good. Uh, we, we know what's going on now, and it's fixed right, because I thought we are going to do a little bit of a bush fix, and at the end of the day, it's got to be fixed properly. But in this case, it's fixed right now, so we're good to go. So I'm happy about it, right? Trek's tightened. Carl and Brennan put the finishing touches to the 475, attaching the eight-ton ripper. A Good. Oh, she good. Yeah. Then connecting the 17-foot blade. Good, Brennan. We're ready to try coming ahead here. Just nice and easy. Four. Okay, we're good. Just like that? Just like that. I'm in. Finishing just within their two-day deadline. <laughs> I'm jealous. I want to come yeah. run it. Take it for a rip. Hey, buddy. Yeah, take it for a rip. You need a crane to get up here? I know, it's pretty big, bud. <laughs> Woo! Man, you need an airport to turn around. That's sick. It's so big, eh? It's so big. It's going to be so good. Someone's going to have fun this year, Carl. Yeah, I hope so. 